Hi, I'm Mark McPherson. This is one of my videos which support my blogs in the series, 52 blogs in 52 weeks, with each blog being about one of my 52 types of people who are poorly behaved and at times downright difficult. This video supports my blog on my type 22, the thief. Now the thief is not a character I was actually going to include, because when I think of a thief, I think of people who are stealing cars, robbing homes, uh, they're fraudsters, uh, they're, they're people stealing uh, people's money, uh, bank robbers, <laughs> or, what, or people maybe in uh, an accountant or something who's uh, fraudulently uh, appropriating or misappropriating money. So I wasn't going to include it because I think it's a, quite a different class uh, of human being. But I was surprised at how many people told me about uh, the number of thieves they had to actually work with. So one woman told me a while ago that uh, she worked for a boss who used to use the company uh, credit card, the one that was used for uh, petrol in the cars, uh, would actually take it and then uh, use it to fill up his own car with petrol. Well, it's stealing. I don't think there's a debate about, about that. And she felt very awkward because he was a nice bloke otherwise, great boss, uh, worked hard, all that sort of stuff, but he was a thief. And she found it very awkward in terms of how would she, she handle it. That's why she came to, to me. But of course, on the other hand, we, we, I've had people tell me things like, uh, I can't believe every time I turn around, he's taken a stapler home for his kids or done this. Now, look, we've all walked away from a conference, as I did the other day, walked away from a conference. I had three pens in my pocket, <laughs> pocket from the, the conference. So was that stealing? Well, I don't know, but I wasn't, no, certainly wasn't intentional. And they were there anyway. But the point is that uh, when there's things like staplers in, a, in the stationary cupboard or whatever, and uh, people are stealing, taking them without permission uh, to just no other reason than to take home to use for them or their kids or whatever, it's stealing. And another person told me about someone who actually stole cutlery from the, <laughs> the staff meeting room or their lunch room. Good grief, it's just extraordinary isn't it, what people will do. So that's why they're included because there are certain types of thieves that uh, are not up there, you know, criminal activity perhaps, although I so think taking the credit card to buy petrol for your own car uh, may well be grounds for dismissal. It's, it's a serious issue. There's no doubt about that. But all the other little bits of petty thieving or whatever, I don't know what you want to call it, just stealing and taking things which aren't yours, uh, I think that's really is quite a problem. And the issue is how do we deal with them? Well, I think that if you know somebody is taking things, then I think you have a right to confront them. Now, I always use the word confront, but please don't uh, misunderstand. I'm not suggesting you go up there and be aggressive. When I say confront, I just mean that you have to speak to them about it. You have to have a tough conversation. But of course, you've got to weigh up, you know, is this a good thing to do? What's my position here? What power do I have? Do I have any proof? There's lots of things like that. And that's why, uh, that's why where I come in to talk to you about all those pros and cons and how do you weigh all these things up. Whatever you're doing, look, Look after yourselves, have a great time, look after your family and friends, and I do hope to chat to you soon. Go to my website, there's a contact page there, plenty of ways to get in contact with me. Let's have a chat. All the very best, hope to hear from you soon. See you later.